A rubber band is a system that could do work or have work done on it. So let's take a rubber band and stretch it, hold it there so it comes to thermal equilibrium, and then suddenly release it. The question I have for you is, after I release it quickly, does the temperature increase, stay the same, or decrease? Think about that for a minute, or do the experiment and make a selection. Let's look at a possible explanation for each answer. A, stretching will heat up the rubber band so the temperature will go up. B, the released rubber band does no work and it happens adiabatically. That's no heat, so no temperature change. Or C, the band does work and the quick change means an adiabatic change, so the energy decreases and the temperature decreases. Think about those three explanations and make a selection. We're talking about stretching and releasing a rubber band, or any piece of rubber. I have a rubber glove here. I can stretch it and hold it, let it come to thermal equilibrium. I can even check that against my lip. Yeah, that's room temperature. And then suddenly release it and touch it to my lip again. What happened to the temperature change? Well, you can do that experiment. I'll do the math. It's an adiabatic change. And we arrange for it to be adiabatic simply by doing it quickly. There's no time for heat to flow. So heat flow, no heat flow, the energy and the work have to be the same. So the change in energy is equal to the work. In this case, the system does work. The rubber has to pull my hands back together. So a system that does work uses its internal energy to do the work. So the energy must go down. So a system that does work the work is negative, that means delta E is negative, and delta T is negative. So the temperature goes down, in this case decreases. The energy change and the temperature change are locked for an ideal gas. That is, for an ideal gas, the energy and the temperature change are essentially the same parameter. E is 3 halves nRT. For other systems like rubber, it's almost the same. That is, energy changes and temperature changes are very often correlated, and in this case, they are. Energy change for a system doing work is a decrease in energy and a decrease in temperature.